Welcome viewer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set WordPress up on your GoDaddy hosting. Very easy. Nothing to it. First thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get logged in. Here we are. This is the first page that you're going to see. As soon as you get here, hover over hosting. And then click the hosting management button under the go to column. That's going to bring us here to the uh, where it's going to show you a list of all of your current hosting accounts. So the one that you want to install WordPress on, go ahead and click the green launch button that's under the control center. That's going to open up a new tab. On the right side, you'll see the install apps um, column, and it's going to show the most popular. If you want to see a list of all of the apps that are available for um, easy installation, um, you could click view all apps. WordPress will probably be up at the top. Go ahead and click that and it'll open up another new tab. <clears throat> as long as you've got the uh, a, a hosting account that has MySQL, PHP, you should have a uh, this application is compatible um, with the check mark showing. If you do not, then you'll have a red X right here and say none of and it will say none of your um, hosting accounts are compatible with this app. So as long as you've got the green check, go ahead and click install now. So the first thing that's gonna happen. Um, in step one, you're going to select the domain name that you would like to install WordPress under. Click. So after you've selected the domain, go ahead and click the next button. Give the database a description. This is something so when in the future when you want to go in and clean your account up, maybe delete some stuff that's no longer in use, you'll be able to easily identify what this database is associated with. Give it a password. And also, when you're creating your database password, please be sure to pay attention to the verify password um, instructions here. Your password must be between 7 and 14 characters in length, must contain at least one lowercase letter and one uppercase letter and one number. So if you're entering your password and you keep getting an error, just make sure that it follows these guidelines. So we're going to go ahead and, hit and click next. Next, you're going to set what directory you would like WordPress installed under. If the directory does not exist, GoDaddy will create the directory for you and install WordPress press there. If you would like WordPress installed in the root, meaning when someone enter your domain name, that is the first, uh, you know, the, the, the site that shows is going to be this installation of WordPress. Then just delete everything after the slash. You don't want to keep it just like that. However, in this case, I'm going to install this under training bids. 
So there we are. And I'm going to use this installation of WordPress right here for many tutorials um, that I'll be recording. We'll go ahead and click next. Create an administrative username. Create an administrative password. Now the administrative password does not have to follow any guidelines. Set your email address. And give it a blog title. After that, go ahead and click finish. And you'll get this page right here. Your installation request for WordPress 3.0.4 has been submitted. Um, once WordPress successfully installed, you will receive an email that concludes this tutorial.